JNPT, India's number one container port, is now the most preferred port for its innovative and business friendly initiatives. Being India's number one container port is a significant achievement for JNPT, but to sustain it has been the real challenge. Perennial congestion at JN Port Roads was one challenge that kept the port on its toes. With rise in volume at port, vehicular traffic increased, leading to increase in transaction time and cost, causing a lot of anxiety to the trade. Everyone perceived that removing congestion is an impossible task and trade has to live with it. Port received negative publicity from the media as it was impacting the exim trade. During the last three years, JN Port identified the problems causing congestion. Anxiety in trade added by the negative media reports led to advanced pushing of cargo thereby blocking regular port traffic. Complete give up approach by stakeholders that congestion could not be solved. Excessive presence of TTs on port roads. Island approach of all stakeholders that traffic solution was the responsibility of JN Port only. JNPT took innovative steps in decongesting the port. Thus, the decade old issue of congestion was resolved successfully. Since last nine months, there's no congestion at the port. This has restored faith of the trade. The port users and stakeholders started appreciating JN Port's efforts in reducing congestion. The media too noticed this positive change and gave wide coverage. The first major initiative to reduce congestion was facilitating inter-terminal movement of tractor trailers. Inter-terminal transfer of TTs allows sideways movement between all four terminals. This saves 7.5 km run per road trip, enabling two commercial transactions in one trip, resulting in optimal utilization of the TTs with saving of over Rs 135 crores for the trade. Over 1,000 trucks are using the inter-terminal movement every day. This has helped in almost 8% load off from the road, leading to significant reduction in traffic and pollution. Dedicated processing zones for each terminal were introduced to facilitate the documentation procedures for the benefit of exporters. JNPT operates three dedicated holding yards of 6 hectares each with concessional parking charges of just Rs 60 to Rs 70 for an 8-hour parking instead of the earlier cost of Rs 3000 to Rs 4000 on each container routed through buffer yards. As a further step towards reducing load on port roads, JNPT is encouraging movement of containers by rail. To facilitate this modal shift, JNPCT has extended rebate of Rs 728 on container handling charges to all the CFSs connected by rail which has reduced the load on JN port roads by almost 4%. Another reason adding to congestion was lack of discipline among TT drivers. CCTVs have been installed on key points on port roads. Along with this, a dedicated team of JN Port officers coordinates with traffic authority for monitoring of the TT movement. Congestion is now passé. JN Port's initiative have ensured immense benefits for the exim trade with reduced costs and time. The import dwell time has reduced tremendously to 31 hours from the earlier 76 hours. The export dwell time has reduced drastically to 78 hours from the earlier 92 hours. Hello, my name is Nico Burks. I'm a director of Port of Entry International and I work as faculty for APEC. After starting the training center here with JNPT APEC in February last year, this is now the seventh seminar and it's always a pleasure and an honor to be teaching here. Since the start of the training center in February last year, 
I've seen a big growth in the way that JNPT is evolving and I see that the ease of doing business between JNPT and their customers is improving a lot. Coming from the city and coming to visit JNPT, I have observed that the congestion on the road has really evolved in a very positive way. It only takes like 30 minutes to come from the city to JNPT, meaning that a lot of actions have been taken to resolve the congestion issues that used to be there previously. Meaning a lot for the trade, meaning a lot for the customers, optimizing their flows and enabling them to do better business. No doubt, JNPOT truly believes that each minute saved brings more value to the trade. To add further value to the trade, JNPOT has introduced Direct Port Delivery DPD to provide smooth gateway for importers wherein importers can take delivery directly from the terminal. DPD, the direct port delivery facility has proved to be a big boon for importers as the import dwell time has reduced to two days from the earlier seven to eight days along with a net saving of rupees 10,000 to rupees 20,000 per TEU as logistics, inventory and container detention cost. In a short period of three months, DPD users have increased from just 11 to 778, which caters to almost 60% of total import volume. To ensure exporters gain smooth entry at JN Port, the Direct Port Entry DPE facility was introduced. Tractor trailers of exporters used to be parked outside JN Port for documentation process. Now all those procedures are done at holding yards itself. Exporters can now plan their TT movements in a better way and save time and fuel costs through the direct port entry facility. Today, JNPT is India's most preferred and economical port for simplified processes, faster clearances, total transparency, seamless connectivity, cost-effective services. An important step towards this has been ease in documentation, discontinuation of manual submission of Form 13 and Form 11, the daily pre-birthing meetings replaced by e-online birthing, e-delivery orders implemented by all shipping lines, disclosure of tariffs by shipping lines and CFSs, integration of IGM filing system with terminal operating system, JNPort, along with ease in doing business, is committed to provide safety and security. In keeping with international safety standards, JNPT is the only port in India to install RDE that has made the port 100% secure and complete scanning of hazardous materials. JNPT is installing three additional container scanners at the cost of Rs 150 crore that will reduce scanner detention time and speed up evacuation of containers. JNPT's all four terminals have RFID-based gate entry tagging to facilitate hassle-free entry without any human interaction. This has reduced transaction to less than one minute from five minutes. JNPT is the first Indian port to implement logistic data bank tagging of containers, which provides real-time information about location and movement of containers while in transit. In just two decades and a half, JN Port has progressed tremendously and has been contributing to the nation's economy substantially. The port has set new benchmarks and parameters that make it truly the numero uno container port of India. Considering the growing sea trade in India, JN Port has several projects in pipeline worth over Rs 15,000 crore with a vision to be India's most economical and technologically advanced port. Mega Fourth Container Terminal, New Evacuation Corridor, Deepening and Widening of Navigational Channels, Internal Road Widening, Centralized Parking Plaza with Amenities, Common Rail Yard with Rail Over Bridge, Multi Product Port Based SEZ, Dedicated Coastal Berg Terminal, Satellite Port at Wadwan, 
two dry ports at Jalna and Vartha, Chabahar Port project in Iran. With JNPT, there will always be a new beginning.